Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. In this video, we're going to be going over the screw modifier, where you use it, why you use it, and how you use it, and what it does. Ready? Let's go. Now, to show you the screw modifier, I'm going to get a very simple object. I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy. I'm going to go to add, mesh, uh, just, I'll say a plane. Plane is very simple. Now, the screw modifier lives with the rest of the modifiers, which is down here now under this little wrench. Okay, If you've been using every other version of Blender, well, at least not every other one, but lots of them, for a while they've had these icons across the top here. They are now in this latest alpha build of Blender 2.8, alpha 2. They're now down the side. So go to the wrench, modifier, and we will choose screw under generate. Screw. And what that did is it just took this, uh, took this object and screwed it out that way. So it gives us this little panel here, like all the other modifiers, and it lets us choose a bunch of different things. So for example, we can choose the axis that we're screwing on. Okay, so this is the Y axis, it's screwing around the Y. <laughs> Here's it screwing around the Z, and screwing around the X. Now here we have the screw, all right, how long the the screw modifier goes okay so here it's like it's at zero so it's just kind of screwing around its revolution it's it's right here all right so it's screwing around its origin <laughs> push it out right and i get more screw over here i can choose the angle of the screw so here is zero is obviously flat so it's not doing anything okay whereas 360 or higher just starts really kind of okay, it's revolving so it's going uh, 694 degrees now okay, so this is really cool for making kind of a drill bit thing steps is how many steps how much resolution your mesh has that's what I'm looking for okay render steps is how many how it's gonna render I'm not gonna really mess with that right then you can merge the vertices that it creates you can take off smooth shading or put smooth shading on. In this case, it's not really doing much. And you now have a few of these things. Calc order, flip. Okay, so the order it calculates in. Flipping the normals. Iterations, how many times it iterates. Okay, so here's one. And you can go, I don't know, until your computer crashes. Right, stretch U, stretch V, okay, you can stretch out the UVs of the original texture. And so these are lots of things that you can play with to get different effects. Now another really cool thing that we can do is, let's just say I were to take this off and add in a new one. Let's see if it keeps the settings. No, nope. okay, good. Is we can specify an object to use this modifier with. So I go add, mesh, or actually, I'll do an empty here. Uh, do plane axis. It just gives me this little crosshair thing. So now if I select this, and I go here, and I say empty. Okay, now I can control this deformation with the empty. So as I move it on the x-axis, you see the x-axis grows. Move it on the y. It's changing. And now I get access to this little thing called object screw, which is really cool in that the object screw allows me to, I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to move him, and here's where I can start really messing with this thing. So you can see it's kind of like that, uh, that simple deform modifier with twist, except it's even cooler in that it lets me use this object to really kind of fine-tune the screw deformation. And of course that is all based on the axes that I'm, I'm using here. But in this case, so I'm going ahead and I'm using the, the z-axis, which in this case is up, and I'm twisting it around its core. See that? And the more I move, the more twist I get. And then this will let me control my angle. Alright, so more screw there. Steps, how fine you want that resolution to be. Alright, 
calc order, I'll just leave that off for now. Iterations, how many times you want it to spin up from the bottom. And it lets you go in and do some really interesting things here. So my angle. So take some playing with, but you can go in and do really interesting things. And a really cool thing is when you start using this with other modifiers. So if I were to go in here and say add modifier, I kind of like this wireframe. Give it some thickness. Right, you can start making some really interesting looking geometry. Really interesting looking shapes. All right. You want architecture, right? Replace original, get some architecture. So if I go and hit tab, I could take my original thing here and I can add some deformation to it or add some more, uh, some loop cuts and I can get more, more of these, uh, more resolution. Or I could subdivide it. Okay, and now you see I'm getting more resolution. Okay, hit tab again. I can go and add more of these. Control R, Control R, Control R, Control R. Okay, I'm just losing loop cut and slide, and I'm adding more resolution. And when I hit tab again, see that? You start seeing some really cool uh, futuristic city type stuff, maybe. And you can always control it based on this empty. So it's a very cool and very flexible tool. And it allows you to go in and do some really cool stuff. But it takes some playing with. Okay, so the basics here, you don't even need wireframe on. The basics is just creating a very simple object, twisting it around, and... The way that I got this ability is just going in and adding in an empty and choosing that empty. So to reiterate, if I were just to create a whole new scene from scratch, okay, and I get rid of this guy, add a simple object, mesh, um, just do plain for now. Go here to modifier, hit screw. Okay, I'll leave it on Z. Right now it's just it's screwing it around this axis, right? So I'll add in an empty. Just do plain axis for now. Okay, select this guy again, go here, hit empty. And now if I move the empty, transform. And I hit this little object screw. I now have this whole cool thing that I can play with. All right. So this modifier is really cool and it'll let you go in and, and really screw around with, <laughs> screw around with a, uh, with an object and do some really interesting things. And it works on, it works on other objects too. It, it works. I mean, any object that you take here, um, let me just get rid of this guy. I'll do, uh, add in, uh, I mean, It'll work on anything, it's just how much of a mess you want to create. So I like to keep it on simple objects, but it'll work on multiple different objects. See here I'm screwing around with <laughs> screwing this thing. And uh, you can see here if I choose this to empty and I say object screw, it's now taking all of the, it's taking this entire object here and okay, twisting it. All right. So it works on lots of different types of objects. It's just the more dense your original object is, the, uh, the more dense your screw effect will be. So you want to use this on simple objects, like that simple plane that I made, and you'll have the best results. But you can use it on stuff like this, and then you just get crazy thick results. And uh, you see here, like if I add anything else to it, all right, you can see that it, it gets me some crazy, crazy results here. So you can use it on like really cool. So if you want like really cool, like kind of sci-fi looking or weird kind of motion graphics-y stuff, like this is really cool to use. And you can do some really interesting stuff with it. 
But keep in mind, like, the more you add, like, it's going to add tons of geometry, and your computer will eventually start slowing down. So you just you kind of want to keep that in mind. So I use this generally on simpler objects, and it works really, really well. So like everything else, you kind of have to go in and play with it, and you'll start kind of seeing what effects you can get. Okay, the more you play, the more you learn, and the better kind of effects you'll get, and do some really interesting work. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense, and you got something out of this video. So if you did, definitely hit like, hit subscribe, hit that little bell notification. Uh, I'm going to keep making more of these videos, so if you hit the bell notification after you're subscribed, you will see a little notification show up that I produced a new video, and you can go check it out. All right? So go ahead, play with this. Keep in mind, simpler objects work better on this. Go ahead, play, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.